Where is my money? All small businesses must ask themselves that question more frequently than they'd care to reveal, especially since the Financial Services Bureau's latest survey shows that typically 80% of payments are late to SMBs. That's a frustrating thing and can be difficult to get a grasp on. But the Clever Credit app for Dynamic 365 is designed to help you get a handle on where your money is and to automate some of the processes that you need to stay in control. I'm going to talk you through some of the features of our Clever Credit app. So having installed the app, I've got a Clever Credit link in the navigation pane on my role center. And this will open the Clever Credit screen, which gives a list of all of my customers and crucially, uh, a breakdown of the money that they owe me aged according to uh, the different bands that we've got set up within the app. As you can see, some of the rows are highlighted uh, some uh, are in blue, some might also be in red, indicating how much uh, money the customer owes you and how late that money is. All of these figures you can click on to see the ledger entries that are lying underneath that figure and the invoices and the credit memos that make up that amount. From this page, I can highlight a customer row and then say make phone call and we open the interaction screen. The idea of this screen is to have all of the information I need at my fingertips so that I can speak to a customer on the phone and discuss their account and I've got everything I need here. I can highlight ledger entries that we have discussed as part of the phone call and I can make notes uh, about the phone call. I can print a statement of their account and also print uh, overdue invoices and credit memos, send them to a PDF so that I can email those to the customer while we are discussing them on the phone. Uh, back on the Clever Credit page, over on the right hand side you can see some statistics about the customer's account, including some figures that we've calculated uh, how many days it is taking this customer to pay their invoices on average. I can click on that figure and I see a chart which shows me the payment performance of this account over time and the number of days it's taken to pay each invoice compared to the payment terms of that invoice and therefore the, the rolling average uh, number of days it's taken them to pay their invoices. The Roll Center uh, includes a new credit control activities part which shows me the number of to-dos that are open for me to work on. Uh, this might be reminders that a customer has promised to make payment uh, of a particular invoice and is reminding me to check that that invoice has been closed and if not I can give them another call and see what the status of that invoice is or it might be reminders that someone else has manually created for me if I need to make a call to discuss a customer's account and I can click the make phone call action from this page and jump straight back into the interaction screen and make that phone call to the customer. As well as keeping track of money that customers already owe us, uh, the Clever Credit app tries to prevent uh, bad debt in the first place. If you put a new sales order on for a customer who has an overdue balance or is over their credit limit, um, that order will be placed onto credit hold and will require a credit controller to make a decision that we want to release this order and allow the customer to have the goods or services. There is a new credit held list option in the navigation pane which shows me a list of the sales documents that have already been put on credit hold. Uh, I can see the reason that it has been credit held the customer, the customer card, and see uh, the status of their account. So I can make a decision as to whether I want to allow this sales document to be released or not.